Now today we're going to be talking about the great rivalry of Asagi and Kaiser that has been the best of both worlds so far in Blue Lock. This rivalry started when Asagi got to Moon Chen to get closer to Noel Noah and he finds himself a rival who desires a challenge from Blue Lock's hero. I think Kaiser's introduction was done very well and it went to show that Asagi's time in Moon Chen was going to be harder as he needed to build his way up in a system that had already catered to Kaiser. The only way to join Moon Chen's starters was to be an asset for Kaiser or prove you have a better way of scoring on your own without Kaiser. Asagi was able to prove his existence on the team and change the philosophy on the team from the inside, causing there to be two philosophies. Kaiser's rational way of scoring and then Blue Lock's chemical reactions playstyle. As the series goes on, Asagi ends up adapting both playstyles and is currently battling Kaiser to take over the throne as King of Moon Chan with goals in their current match against the Ubers. Asagi is the protagonist of Blue Lock, a skilled but unassuming striker with a unique ability to read and analyze the movements of his teammates and opponents. He has a burning passion for the game and dreams of becoming the best striker in the world. Asagi's strength lies in his adaptability and his ability to connect with his teammates, making him a natural leader on the field. Whereas on the other hand, Kaiser is introduced as a highly talented striker who excels in individual skill and technique. He possesses his incredible physical prowess and technical ability, allowing him to dominate games with his agility and precision. Kaiser is confident, ambitious, and believes that winning is the only thing that matters in soccer. Now first, we really need to go over the differences of Asagi and Kaiser. Now Asagi has had some insane character development since the start of the series, and his personality starts to change as he becomes more egotistical. In the beginning, Asagi and Kaiser differ from each other completely, but then they start to get closer to a degree. Despite that, Asagi is a lot more egotistical than he was in the beginning of Blue Lock, but Kaiser has a superiority complex and puts himself as king above everyone else. He portrays everyone as small-time actors compared to him, the true protagonist of the world. Currently, I would not say that there are many differences for Kaiser and Asagi as they continue to be more like each other after spending some time on the field as teammates. Kaiser did not accept Asagi at first and thought he was subpar. He cannot fathom why Asagi continues to defy an absolute talent like him. He has shown Asagi the difference in their strengths and yet Asagi will not back down. I think this comes down to Asagi's time in the second selection where he really found himself and can only use failure and rage to come back stronger. Asagi is someone who gets more excited as more obstacles are in his way. His thought process is not normal and cannot be taken into account like that. As Kaiser begins to finally accept Asagi's talents, he realizes that he cannot look at him as subpar anymore. He must put him as a rival, an obstacle in his life that he asks Asagi to become for him in the first place. Asagi's triumph over Kaiser can be also attributed to his exceptional mental fortitude, despite the overwhelming odds and pressure of the World Cup stage. Asagi's determination and unwavering belief in his abilities propelled him to push his boundaries and perform at his best. Asagi is best known for his adaptability and quick thinking and possesses a unique advantage over his opponents. Throughout the Blue Lock series, he demonstrated exceptional versatility in both creating opportunities for his teammates and capitalizing on chances himself. This multi-phase playing style is often difficult to anticipate and counter, making Asagi a potent force in the field. One of Asagi's most remarkable attributes is unpredictability. Rather than relying on a predefined strategy, Asagi's dynamic approach allows him to react spontaneously to the ever-changing conditions of the game. By constantly adapting his movements, positioning, and decision-making, Asagi disrupts the opposing team's defensive schemes, rendering them incapable of effectively countering his attacks. Asagi is portrayed as an underdog who has been overlooked and underestimated through his soccer career. He comes from a regular high school and lacks formal training at prestigious academies. In contrast, Kaiser is introduced as a prodigy who has been great at football since a young age. His background gives him a sense of entitlement and superiority. Asagi is depicted as a versatile player with a focus on his exceptional vision skills. He excels in creating opportunities for his teammates through his precise passes and assists. Asagi's playing style revolves around his ability to read the game and make strategic decisions on the field. In contrast, Kaiser is portrayed as a dominant forward with excellent goal scoring abilities. His powerful shots and physicality make him a formidable presence in front of the goal. Kaiser's playing style highlights his individual skill and ability to lead the attack. Now let's talk about the similarities between these two. These two really are similar the more you see them together. Kaiser broadly speaks out about himself regarding him as the king. Asagi does not broadly state it, but Asagi as well starts to have a king-like attitude as well, subconsciously using people as supporting actors. Kaiser embodies the ideals of Blue Lock and is the ideal playstyle for Asagi. Asagi knew he could not go directly to Noah Noah, so he needed to close that gap between them, and that is Kaiser. As Asagi continues in Moon Chen, he works on becoming his own king of the team and having a duo with him in Kurina. Kaiser is the same as well as he has Ness, and they both now have duos who help assist them to make their plays. Kaiser and Asagi both use their vision to find the best goal spot and then use their weapons to score. These two are constantly stopping each other from scoring their own goals, even as teammates, which causes Moon Chen's team to be disorganized. The team moves off a straight chaos caused by Asagi and Kaiser, and they are such an offensive unit that they still end up winning anyway. Both Kaiser and Asagi are highly determined and ambitious individuals. 
They possess an unwavering desire to become the best soccer players in the world and are willing to work tirelessly to achieve their goals. Their unwavering dedication and never give up attitude make them stand out players. Kaiser and Asagi are both highly intelligent players who possess a deep understanding of the game. They have the ability to analyze situations quickly, adapt their strategies, and make split second decisions that greatly affect the outcome of matches. Their tactical awareness and ability to read the game make them exceptional players. Both characters face various challenges and setbacks throughout the series, but they never lose hope or give up. They are always pushing themselves to overcome obstacles and improve their skills. Their resilience in the face of adversity is a key factor in their growth as players. Now let's go off the speculation that Asagi will need to defeat Kaiser in the Under-20 World Cup. I did a video about this talking about how Kaiser will fall to Asagi in the NEL and then come back as a villain who Asagi will face again to win the World Cup. In the first ever chapter, they first shadow the World Cup and it shows Japan going against Germany. And Kaiser is from Germany, so it could mean that Japan will play Germany in the finals of the World Cup to win. This would make sense as Kaiser has shown his deep hatred for Asagi, and I can see Asagi taking over the team to dethrone Kaiser. Many people think that Asagi and Kaiser will eventually team up, but I honestly don't see that happening as they both are too stubborn and are now fighting each other with goals, even though they are teammates. It would make sense for Kaiser to eventually come back and want to go against Asagi, but this time not as teammates, but as enemies. Kaiser and Asagi are very similar characters, and they are both bringing out the absolute best in each other. Kaiser cannot even play the game anymore without noticing Asagi's movements. That's how similar these two have become. These two have been able to bring out the best in each other, and the competition to score goals has made it even better. They are going against the best defense in any of Both have been able to put up goals for the team. Now let's talk about just how important learning Metavision was for Asagi. Metavision grants players an unparalleled strategic advantage in the game of football. By possessing the ability to read an opponent's movements, Asagi would gain valuable insights into Kaiser's playing style, preferred tactics, and defensive patterns. This knowledge allows Asagi to anticipate and counter Kaiser's actions, increasing his chance of bypassing Kaiser's presence. Asagi gaining meta vision from understanding Kaiser's movements made it a lot easier for him to get closer to Kaiser in skill and really just become a better player. Beyond his practical implications, taking meta vision from Kaiser holds significant symbolic value in Asagi's journey. Asagi showcases his growth and ability to surpass even the most formidable opponents, solidifying his status as a football prodigy and a force to be reckoned with. Meta vision is not only about gaining an edge in competition, but also about personal growth. By learning Kaiser's metavision, Asagi undergoes a transformative process that expands his understanding of the game and his own capabilities. This acquisition allows Asagi to push his limits, unlocking new dimensions of his talent, and ultimately honing his skills to becoming a more well-rounded player. Asagi realizes that Kaiser has been looking at the field in a higher dimension, and his way of seeing the field will not allow him to defeat him. With metavision, he now gains a new type of confidence and feels like he can take on the world with it. He comes to an understanding that even though he has metavision, he will still not be able to defeat Kaiser with 100% certainty. And so with this, Asagi goes to Kunigami and learns a new lefty direct shot that will allow him to take over with both of his legs at any time. Asagi can see the path he wants to take to win and is more determined than ever to defeat Kaiser with goals. Kaiser and Asagi's relationship has been a distorted relationship that involves both of them devouring each other to prove their strengths. In doing so, they are both working together in a blue lock style system that involves devouring your teammates. Asagi had did the same thing with Ren when they both had a relationship that involved stealing goals from each other and going for the win. These two have come a long way since meeting each other, and the rivalry further shows that. I love how Kaiser was brought into the series, and he has been the ultimate rival for Asagi. The gap at first seemed too high for Asagi to get closer to Kaiser, but Asagi's adaptability is insane, and he has managed to close the gap between Kaiser immensely and, and get closer to the new Gen 11 forward. Now, Kaiser has his ultimate weapon, the Kaiser Impact, that no one can ever emulate. Asagi must find ways to use his own weapons and capitalize off of them. Kaiser has shown us once again how powerful he is with his Kaiser Impact, and he took over the Uber's match as a game changer. Asagi continues to input data into his head and find new ways of himself to score. He knows how impactful each moment is in a high class matchup of superstars. He's doing whatever it takes to defeat Snuffy and is looking at every option to win. Kaiser and Asagi will continue to go after the goal and find themselves crossing paths over and over again as they can see everything the same now. This constant rivalry is what makes Blue Lock so great and it is why Asagi has grown to become the person he is today. Kaiser was a perfect rival to introduce a Blue Lock for Asagi to get past a challenge he has never seen before. Well, I thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back in the next one. Peace.